So I finally got around to making a new video and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can enter and exit your car and drive it around but the driving around part is your own script so you, you're probably gonna use the unity standard asset one or you got one from the internet or you made your own one but yeah so if you wonder how they go in like GTA and go in the car drive it and get out you can do it on unity and it's pretty simple um, it's not that complicated you might see the script and you're like oh what the hell there's so much pre variables and whatnot I'm just gonna go through uh, through it slowly and you're probably gonna understand it's pretty simple so you get to the car this like little um, this little e marker pops up you can have that you don't have need to have that it's, it's your own preference you click um, I didn't have an F icon so I just put E for everything but here you click F uh, actually you click E a sound plays that I have this sound I don't know why you can have a like a car engine starting sound or whatever you want you don't even have to have a sound it's all up to you when you do that you can drive around and then when you you, you don't even have to stop you can um, exit the vehicle by clicking then F and yeah so you can walk around, you can get in the vehicle again, and uh, yeah. The script is fairly simple. It might look like there's a lot of things going on, but it's actually uh, pretty simple. Um, in the description, I have a link to my GitHub. You have to make an account so you can access it. It'll give you an error like the GitHub, the page is not found. But you just have to log in and then click on the link again, and you're going to be able to access the scripts. So let me break this down. So you have a few um, game objects. You have the vehicle, which uh, is going to be the vehicle, I guess. The player, which is the third person controller, or the first person or whatever you're using. You have a player backup and the player backup is, um, as you know, when you enter GTA, you can see your character in the vehicle and you can like drive around and see him. Well, the player backup is the thing that we see in our vehicle. Right now, you can see that my vehicle doesn't have any windows or any like see-through windows. So, but I made a player backup just for this tutorial, and I just placed the cube. But you're gonna have instead of the cube I have, you're gonna have your own uh, third-person character model, and you're probably gonna like make him into a position where he's like um, sitting down and like having his hands on the vehicle, on the wheel, on the on the what's it called, the steering wheel and it's gonna look like he's driving so I'm I'm not gonna do that because the you can see through the windows uh, the private bool in vehicle is a bool I use to detect if I'm in the vehicle or not of uh, the vehicle and you might if you're new to scripting you might not, not understand this part so vehicle this it, like you have game object uh, audio sources um, texture whatever you know um, a vehicle this is the name of the script that I'm using on my own vehicle so instead of vehicle because you, you can see that the vehicle script I used to drive around is called vehicle instead of vehicle you're gonna uh, you're gonna type here whatever the name of your script is followed by the name that you're gonna want to access it by next uh, game object uh, GUI object that's the object we use on um, the thing that the e the little e icon that pops out audio source is the source of audio audio clip is the audio you don't these aren't these three aren't important and you don't have to use them if you don't want to um, they're just there for like when you enter the vehicle the sound plays or the G, or the like e icon appears whatever so on uh, the start function, I just want to say that the uh, the vehicle script I want to because uh, I haven't stated that it's public. I want to find the the get the component of the vehicle script because this script is attached to the um, to the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle script is located on the vehicle. I'm just gonna say that the vehicle script is equals to get component vehicle. So the vehicle script is actually the vehicle script. Um, vehicle and then I say vehicle script dot enabled is false. So for scripts you use dot enabled and then false true and for game objects you use a set active false true whatever. Source this is just the I'm getting the audio source the the component GUI object now 
for the GUI object for the little E icon you have to uh, make it uh, you have to make it so it's called press E and then the same name you call your icon is uh, have to be called here because I haven't stay I haven't um, put public in the in the uh, the inspector so I can't like access it from the inspector I can't put it in so I just have to um, find the object and I find it by its name you can use tag you can use whatever but I just find this easiest so make sure you don't change the name later on or just remember changing it and then changing it in the script again uh, GUI object set active so in the beginning it's false player backup set active is false so we don't want to see the player in the vehicle as we're outside the vehicle because that doesn't make any sense and the GUI object is I have I put this over here twice I do not know why it doesn't matter so void on trigger stay so on trigger stay is when I enter the trigger not at that frame but when all the frames while the third person character collider is colliding is staying in the trigger so collider other and I'm just stating if the other dot game object dot tag is player and I'm not in the vehicle then the GUI object is set active true so if I'm in the trigger the GUI object is going to appear and it and this is the, the these lines are the same so if the uh, the game object that entered the trigger is tagged player and the vehicle and in vehicle boolean is false and I click E you can change this I want to source dot play I want to play the audio I want to set the GUI to false because I entered the vehicle I don't want it to, to stay like press E all of the time the player backup is true because now I want to see the player actually in the vehicle and the player that outs is outside the vehicle I don't want to see him anymore so and I don't I don't want to be able to move the player while I'm moving the vehicle so I'm just setting the whole player and all of the scripts in it to be false by setting the player dot select to false and because I want the player to follow the vehicle so when you get out of the vehicle I don't want him to for example if you um, if you drive around and uh, oh, you bug for a second. So if you drive around and get over here, I want the player to follow the vehicle. And when you click uh, F to exit the vehicle, I want him to appear here and not stay over there. So by parenting the the third person, uh, oh sorry, um, by parenting the third person character to the vehicle via the script, when I move the vehicle, the the character moves with him. Uh, so vehicle script dot enabled is true because I want to start riding the vehicle and in vehicle is true because I'm in the vehicle now when I exit the the um, the vehicle I want the GUI dot set active is full when I exit the trigger of the vehicle I want the GUI to not be true because I don't want it to say press E all of the time um, void update this is for when vehicle is true so when I'm in the vehicle and I click F, I want the player to set active true. I want the player to be to play the third person character to be able to control him. I want the parent to be null because why would the player be parented to the vehicle if he's not in the vehicle? So if I have two vehicles, I want to go access a different vehicle. I don't want to be a parent of this vehicle all the time. So I have to set the parent to be null or none. Uh, player backup is set active false because we don't want to see the player in the vehicle while I'm not in the vehicle. Vehicle script is enabled equals false because I don't want to control the player and the vehicle simultaneously and in vehicle is false because I'm not in the vehicle anymore. So that wraps it up. Um, so how I set this up is I have a, um, let me just untick this one so you see only this one. So this box collider is just for being able to collide with different objects. Your, your vehicle is probably going to use, um, if you have the Unity Standard Asset one or a different one, it's probably going to have collisions enabled. So you're going to, you have the basic like collisions that come with the vehicle so you don't collide with like so you can't walk through walls or drive through them and I've added another box collider which I tagged is trigger this is very important that you tag it as is trigger and 
as you can see that um, object goes a bit like a bit like uh, next to the doors on each sides and that's the trigger that when I walk into it I can actually enter the vehicle so you add the enter vehicle script onto the vehicle you say that the vehicle is the vehicle you're using the third person controller is the third person controller player backup you just create a player backup and put it inside the vehicle so it looks like he's sitting down and the sound effect you can have that and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it let me just show you so I'm in the vehicle now um, so yeah thank you for watching guys um, if you need any help or if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me in the comments if you have anything you want to see in a future video you can also tell me in the comments I'm sorry for the absence um, I've been working on this game which I wanted to sh show to you today but it doesn't I found this bug when you build the game so it doesn't really I can't show it because it's not playable because whenever I build the game there's like this bug and it's really not um, playable so I'm not gonna show it to you today maybe a different time once I get the time to fix the bug I'm pretty busy even though the exams and the school year ended but yeah I guess that's that sucks but I'll keep making these tutorial videos because these tutorials I, m are, I make don't require a lot of time for example this was the longest one because I, w when I had to figure out the um, the vehicle and I found I have to find the vehicle I have had to find the appropriate script for the vehicle I had to make the script that allows you to enter and exit it but most of the tutorials I do aren't that um, don't take me that much time to make so I guess I'll be doing that and if you have anything else to add you can tell me in the comments and yeah have a nice day and see ya